Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Game Hub. I'm your host, Gamer K, and it is the very first video for the month of November. And I thought, what better way to celebrate my birth month than to do a whole bunch of videos of crazy stuff that I really, really enjoy. I mean, I do that anyway here on the Game Hub, but for November, it's a special occasion. And it is time to do my first Funko review for in a good while. And we are doing the Funko figurine review of My Hero Academia's Fumikagi Tokoyami, a.k.a. Sukuyomi and Dark Shadow. And yes, there they are. And once again, every of my Funko reviews is uh, inspired by MGO316. Go check him out. He does Kamen Rider toys. He does Super Sentai. He does Power Rangers. He does movie memorabilia. He does Star Wars. He does Transformers. He does it all. And he is the freaking geek. And go check out his YouTube channel. And that, now that my obligatory, and now that my, basically my little shout out to him is done, we take a quick look first at the box. And there it is with... There it is, My Hero Academia, or Boku no Hero Academia, for uh, people who say it, who say the Japanese title. And we got Pop Animation, there it is, and it's Pop, because you've got the exclamation mark, so it's very important. And he is number 607, seriously, can someone tell, is this a lot number, or something? I mean, this joke is not getting old. And when, right at the corner, we got this nice half shot of Sukuyomi, or Tokoyami, I prefer calling him Tokoyami, than. Fumi, Fumikagi, I prefer saying Tokoyami, of him and Dark Shadow, very, very nice, and underneath you got warning, choking hazard, small parts, not suitable for children under 36 months, who would buy this for a child, and we have Fumikage Tokoyami, he's a vinyl figure, figure in, in vinyl, figure to vinyl, and on the top, we got that headshot of Toko Yami and good lord that looks like that looks like the head of a monster in a Mario game ladies and gentlemen we got funko.com we got pop animation on the side we got your big product shot of Toko Yami he's number 607 once again pop animation with dark shadow on <laughs> Uh, technical difficulties uh, human error uh, on the side we got pop animation once again and Fumikage Tokoyami. Seriously, can we give this guy his own, like, little extra episodes? I mean, I know we got a little bit of it from with him and Hawks, but I want more with this bird guy. And another half headshot, 607. On the top, on the sides, on the sides, on the bottom, we have, you know, your warnings and everything and how to dispose of the box. But I like to collect them for reasons. And once I move out, Easy packaging. Do not buy this for anyone under the age of three. Seriously, who buys this for kids? And on the box back, you got your obligatory for everyone else in the set. We have Izuku Midoriya with his hood up, which makes him look like a creepy, smiling rabbit for some reason. We got All Might and his teacher uniform. Go Plus Ultra! We got Momo Yayozuru. We've got Ijiro Kirishima, number 607. We got 603, 604, 605, 606, 607, Tokoyami. We got Silver Age All Might with his old uniform and everything, number 608. And 609, we've got all for one. And honestly, uh, there's two of this set that I really want, which is Kirishima and all for one. But I'll do that when I get the chance. So that is it for... Oh, wow, that didn't actually fall. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's it for the packaging, and let's get in close on Tokoyami. As you can see, a very, very nice, simple figure, because his basically his hero costume is pretty simple. And there's not a lot of color in uh, Tokoyami's design, which I kind of like. It's a simplistic. Uh, I'm just going to say he's the Batman, basically. This is what happens if Batman and Robin kind of mixed a little bit. And uh, <laughs> creepy jo creepy jokes for DC fans. But we got that nice yellow big beak. And I like that they did it at the bottom. Just to, in, I mean, they could have done like right here. Kept it all black and just kept the, the beak, all the yellow. And we got his nice pupils and everything. And, 
and his nice spiky, spiky bird hair. And I really love spiky haired characters. I mean, I like Gajil. I love Soma from Food Wars. I love Sora. I really, really love spiky haired characters. And yet I'm not a Dragon Ball Z fan, which is odd. And we got his nice, nice cape in this somewhat uh, uh, dark navy blue. Uh, uh, navy blue, and I like how they have it, f like the movement in it, so it flows. As you can see, you can see like the little, the little lines and the bumps in there to show the capes, uh, the fabric, and it is just beautiful. Underneath, we have his pants and his boots, which is basically something simple. And we also have Dark Shadow attached to him, as Dark Shadow is connected. As you can see, they went with kind of a. Uh, somewhat uh, obviously black with bits of streaky uh, um, you I, I like to call this color like pastel blue like a pastel blue a little bit or maybe something a blue and purple mix a little bit and I like how it goes like all around like from behind him and then we get dark shadows head right there and I did test this dark shadows head does not move at all. So all of you trying to do so to pose it, do not because you will break his neck. Tokoyami's head is very uh, um, uh, movable uh, on, a, on a swivel. So you can pose him like that. Or you can have him looking right at you. And so him and Dark Shadow are staring right at you. That is really intimidating. <laughs> and we got Dark Shadow's head right there, which is a nice mold. <clears throat> Very nice. I like the yellow eye there for I'm like and his little feathered head just like Tokoyami. I really like how they just decided to go with this cuz having just Tokoyami would kind of defeat the purpose of have that. So having Dark Shadow makes this figure really cool. I also really like how they had it extending coming out of the cape and behind him and then showing his head right there. Nice. Get a little nice little on the head sculpt. Uh, nice with the they look like almost look like smarties his eyes i i like it's like they took two halves of a smarty and just split it open and i like that they didn't involve uh t uh dark shadows arms because i think they would have been a little bit too bulky uh like there's no way i mean unless you did like one arm kind of coming out it would kind of defeat the purpose of of uh of everything i mean he, he's pretty, pretty stable. One of the sta most stable figures I have in my collection. Uh, so if they, I think if they did go with the uh, having Dark Shadow's hands, uh, it would be kind of top-heavy and would be, you know, falling around a lot. But I believe if I just... Okay, he is not very stable if you push him. <laughs> oh, me. Oh, God. Anyway, there he is again with the box. Have you know what? I'm gonna put him back in the pose I had him before. Have him looking to the right and just having dark him and dark shadow staring directly at you. And that's it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. With Tokoyami looking all menacing and wanting dark justice. Seriously, he is basically Batman in this show. I am calling it right now. And that's it for this week, ladies and gentlemen. And that was the Funko figurine review of Tokoyami, a.k.a. Uh, well, Tokoyami and Dark Shadow. And hit like, subscribe down below. Give me a lot of comments on what you think of this figurine. Because all honesty, I think this is a pretty cool figure overall. I like the design, like the, uh, uh, the, per the design they went for, having Dark Shadow be kind of a... Uh, a connected cord and not having his arms he's not a big presence but you know he's there so for my hero academia fans for tokoyami fans for josh greel fans and i will say this i did meet josh greel and he is a, a great dude i met him because you know he played Tyrion and ruby and he is just one heck of a guy killer laugh and seeing him play tokoyami makes it him an even better dude so that is it for this week, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining in. Once again, like, comment, subscribe down below. Go check out M Games. Oh, that, not M Games. Well, actually, yeah, go check out M Games. Go check out M Go. And basically, join me next week for it's the week before the week of my birthday because it will be on the weekend because, you know, it's 
14th, so that would be on the weekend. So, join me next week where I celebrate my birthday with how I kind of like to spend my birthday, having a bunch of laughs. Except next video, I'm trying not to laugh to one of my favorite review, one of my favorite YouTubers in general, reacting to, honestly, one of the greatest aliens to ever grace TV. This is Gamer K, logging out.